It's Saturday! Prepare chill. 5 o'clock news on a Saturday evening, November 7th, 2015. Good evening, everybody. I'm Peter Williams. I hear 5 o'clock news at 9 0. Top story at 5 o'clock. Here is. In Washington, where President Obama announced on Friday that he had rejected a request from a Canadian company to build the Keystone XL oil pipeline into a seven year review that had become a symbol of the debate over his climate policies. Republican President Joe candidate Ben Carson now making the transition from living legend to scrutinized candidate face new questions fighting about the way he tells his powerful life story. Washington, the Supreme Court announced on Friday that it will take up a challenge from the religious nonprofit groups, including the Little Sisters of the Poor to the Affordable Care Act and the requirement that group help plans provide. In Mariana, Brazil, rescue teams searched for the mud in the debris on Friday for dozens of people missing after a pair of dams collapsed at a Brazil mine owned by two of the world's biggest iron and ore producers. Baltimore's Circle Court Judge Martin P. Walsh ended down a ruling on Friday saying that the 1999 case in which they had was convicted of murder in high meanly will be reopened based on a new witness testimony for Asia McLean. All of it all was filmed as the police chased an SUV and after a dark in the week down Louisiana, shots fired, the driver struck in and his son, six year old, shot him dead in the front seat. Washington, U.S. Navy deliberately aborted military drills of other actions that could have. Further inflamed tensions with Beijing during an abdul last week near Island China has built into the South China Sea. El Bray, Gaza Strip, the Palestinian youth settled in the improved zone along the fence, separating Gaza from Israel on Friday, cloaked back to the thick smoke plume from flaming tires as they hurled rocks at Israeli jeeps. Russia, on the surface, appears strong and triumphant in the diplomatic meetings and its military adventures in Syria. Russian President Vladimir Putin seems to be confident that about his ability to impose on one fate, a company and all the other. On all sides. China Zain, Taiwan's mom, met meet for the last an hour, as China says to do our one family in Taiwan says word by missiles. Entertainment shows are usually a safe haven for presidential candidates, a place to cut for dance and otherwise escape the hard question and in fact chicken on the news media as if Carly Freeman thought the view would be taking it easy on her she was very wrong. In Rock Hill, South Carolina, it wasn't a debate. Technically, but there was a candidate sat on the right red hot seat after one of the other during the final that Democratic candidate form in South Carolina that they were given plenty of opportunities to swipe. Strong growth in the number of U.S. job books last month bolstered the case for a December interest rate hiked by Federal Reserve, where officials had already begun to worry that the economy might eventually overheat without higher borrowing costs. New York, Warren Buffett's Berkshire halfway incorporated said a quarterly profit double of the record high, reflecting a large gain in its stake in Kraft Heinz Company. San Francisco Square plans on a bread in its initial public offering of between $11 and $13 a share, a conservative valuation that reflects Wall Street's growth and caution on technology debuts. New York has near century old century that gives New York State prosecutors unusually broad afforded to prosecute securities fraud to give to provide a powerful weapon as Attorney General Eric Schneiderman provides Exxon Mobil Corporation. Two American astronauts took a marathon spacewalk on Friday, spending nearly eight hours outside the International Space Station and truly out of this world permanent job. Sea World products fall short of expeditions as circuses, zoos, and grocery stores face public pressure to curb unfair treatment of animals. Stockholm, the UN's environmental authority has quietly raised its assessment of level at which global greenhouse gas emissions must peak to avoid dangerous climate change as governments seek a new accord to fight global warming. A woman in Massachusetts gave birth to an eight pound baby girl Wednesday after going to the hospital for abdominal pain. Judy Brown had no idea that she was in labor when she arrived at the hospital. According to the study by Cornell, soda and sweets aren't making Americans fat. In fact, in a way, Americans consume more junk food than those who are morbidly obese. Two days after an announcement that the death of an adult, Santa Clara County resident from the flu was first reported. Flu death of the season as California Department of Public Health officials on Friday said an infant also had high, coming highly. Okay, take a look at New England Insulators here in Fall River, Massachusetts. A fire 274 Mulberry Street, I don't know, size of the type of building as command ordered all firefighters out of the building, which it did as roll call was conducted all cannon four and crews not made, back inside making progress. Peter Channel News on 504, time for a sports report here tonight, the Boston Bruins will be up in Montreal, taking on the Montreal Canadiens there. 
Okay, take a look at NHL scores for one period for the Panthers out. Lane the Los Angeles Kings, one to nothing. While the Buffalo Sabres defeat the Vancouver Canucks, three to two. Take a look at some college football scores here on this Saturday evening here. Louisiana Lafayette, a lead in Georgia State, 23-21 with 6 minutes 9 left in the fourth quarter. 12-24, 11 in the fourth quarter. It's Miami, Ohio, 28, Eastern Michigan, 13. 9.45 left in the third quarter. It's Idaho 24. Staff Alabama 14 with 9.45 left in the third quarter here. 15 minutes left in the third quarter. It is Colorado State 23. Wyoming 0. 10.30 left in the third quarter. It's Miami Florida 14. Virginia 8. 33 seconds left in the second quarter. It is Florida State 10. Clemson 3. 20 seconds left in the second quarter. It's Arkansas 17. Ole Miss 14. And half time break. It's Air Force leading Army 10 to 0 here. 43 seconds left in the second quarter. It is Arizona State 14, Washington State 10. 23 seconds left in the second quarter. It is Indiana 17, Iowa 14. 119 left in the second quarter. It is Wisconsin 17, Maryland 10. 4 minutes left in the second quarter. It is Michigan 28, Rutgers 13. 6.9 left in the second quarter. It is Oklahoma State 28, TCU 9. 16 seconds left in the second quarter. It's Louisiana Tech 28, North Texas 0. At halftime, it is Middle Tennessee and Marshall tied at 7 apiece. At halftime, it's Houston and Cincinnati tied at 14 apiece. 319 left in the second quarter. Troy going into town on Louisiana Monroe, 41 to 14. At halftime, it is New Mexico 7, Utah State 3. 553 left in the second quarter. It's New Mexico State 10, Texas State 7. 631 left in the second quarter. It's Connecticut 7, Tulane 3. 751 left in the second quarter. It's Tennessee 14, South Carolina 0. 249 left in the first quarter. It is UCLA and Oregon State 0 0 the score. Notre Dame defeating Pittsburgh 42 to 30. Florida Economic win over Venezuela 9 to 7. Stanford over Cairo 42 to 10. Northwestern 23. Penn State 21. Akron 17. Massachusetts 13. Western Kentucky 35. Florida Atlantic 19. Tulsa 45. UCF 30. Illinois 48. Purdue 14. Florida International 48. Chalk 31. West Virginia 31. Texas Tech 626. North Carolina 66. Duke 31. Georgia 27 and Kentucky 3, Louisville 41, Syracuse 17, North Carolina State 24, Boston College 8. In Fort Worth, Fred Kozlowski won his first quarter at Texas Motor Speedway and Friday will be lead to the green on Sunday at the AAA Texas 500. Chance to get about five hundred looms for New Orleans Saints against the Tennessee Titans. Pierre Chell News on five oh seven on this Saturday evening or stand out for a travel report. Mm, maybe. And so you have out in Rhode Island here where one forty six in the South Bronx get that some slow spots on one forty six happen after route fifteen in Providence are at the downtown Providence here. Ninety five in the South Bronx so from technology at the downtown Providence here, ninety five in the North Bronx so from one ninety five to downtown Providence here. 195 in the westbound side, so from 114 in East Providence all the way out to 95 in the downtown Providence. That's here, doing an accident on 195 westbound side in the Fox Point Bridge in Providence. There, and out of the Cape, that's looking good on 20 and 6. 20 is looking good from Born and Falmouth. 6 is looking good from Sagamore and Idaho Orleans. There, 95 is slow from the Ponson Street in Norwood all the way out to 128 in Cantonier. 24 in the northbound side, so from 139 in Randolph all the way up to the Route 120 in the Canton here. 120 in the southbound side, so from 95 in Canton all the way up to Route 24. Route 3 in both ends, also from Route 18 in Weymouth all the way up to 220 in Rutland, doing an accident here on Route 3 in the northbound side before between Route 220 in Rutland and Derby Street in Hingham here. 120 in the northbound side, so after the Brain Tree split all the way up to Route 37 in Brain Tree here, Southeast Expressway, and the southbound side, also before the Brain Tree split, and then so from the pike all the way up to Dodgers here, Southeast Express and Northbound side, so from Quincy, all the way at the downtown Boston here. To be able to on the both ends, slow on the southbound side, a little slow on the northbound side here. 120 on the both ends, it's slow for the Needham stretch, and 120 that's also slow on both ends. We have Route 9 in Wellesley, and 120 and then the southbound side, backed up from the pike, all the way at to Route 9 in Wellesley here. 120 on the southbound side, a little slow from 2A to Route 2 in Lexington here. 120 on the northbound side, so from Route 20 in Waltham to before Route 2 in Lexington here. 93 in the southbound side, it did so from Somerville right to the Zakin Bridge here. Route 1 in the southbound side, so 107 all the way up to Route 16 here. Mass back in the eastbound side, so from Natick all the way up to Newton and then the Bricks again after the 
But for the Austin and Bright Tunnels on the West Band Tunnel and the Mass Back, what are these Band Tunnel? Also, through the Poot Tunnel here. One way in the South Band Tunnel for Route 1 in Peabody, all the way. Out to Route 93 in Reading near 129 on both ends, also the Burlington stretch, 120 on the north band side, so from Burlington all the way out to Route 93 in Reading near. And in the West Tower is there, looking good here. Well, on 45 in the south band side, get active before Route 97 in Naval, so expect a few delays here. 93 in the north band side, also in the hooks of tolls on the 93 in the north band side here. Up in Maine, Maine turn back to also after the green change here. Alright, let's take a look at what is going on in the MBTA. Sylvan has the fox pitch and minor ladies through traffic, and Sylvan has the fox pitch and minor ladies through traffic. Here, Time meter rail. Looking good, then the fairies, they are looking good. Here, tell the new times, now 510 on this. Saturday evening, your time out for a water report for the night. Clouds got during the early evening hours. And Gretchen Clinton's got low, low about 40 degrees. North Force about 3 to 7 miles an hour here. Sunday, Santa's got about 54 degrees. North Force about 6 to 10 miles an hour. Gunside is 21 miles an hour here. Sunday night, Clouds got about 31 degrees. West Force about 3 to 6 miles an hour here. Monday, Santa's got about 60 degrees. South Force about 6 miles an hour here. Monday night, Moscow's got about 37 degrees. Light southwest wind. Tuesday, Chetcha Shows Man to 3 p.m. Put Santa's got about 60. Down to 58 degrees. And Chetcha Patient, 30%. So that, check the shadows before 4 a.m. There is a fog. After 4 a.m. Mobile, most guys got low about 42 degrees and chest patient 30%. Wednesday, most guys got about 60 degrees. Thir Wednesday night, park guys got about 39 degrees. Thursday, check the shadows after 2 p.m. Most guys got about 57 degrees and chest patient 40%. Thursday, so that, shadows likely, there is a fog. About most guys got about 42 degrees and chest patient 6%. Friday, there is a fog. About most guys got about 57 degrees. Friday night, park guys got about 38 degrees. And for Saturday, most guys got about 53 degrees. Currently in Norton here, yeah. By 11 58 degrees with broken clouds and a humidity 41% here, and we're seeing on the radar a line of rain showers here. Way off the, the Massachusetts coast and stretching through Nantucket here, and stretching all the way down towards the Southern Jersey coast around Delaware and down for Virginia and then towards the North Gun and then for the North Eastern North Gun and then for Northwestern South Gun and then for Georgia here. And that's coming in for the Peter Channel Evening 5 o'clock news on this. Saturday evening, 7 of November 2015. Please have a good evening and goodbye to you. See you at 11 o'clock for a late night report. Have a good evening here.